Hey everyone, good evening. It is late tonight, but um, I want to jump on here real quick. Because <laughs> I want to discuss uh, Shondell Barnett, the guy who got arrested with uh, Straight Drop, or Justin Johnson, a.k.a. Straight Drop. Okay, you know, um, Justin Johnson and Cornelia Smith went to uh, court this morning for their bond hearing. Well, I guess uh, Cornelia's attorney wasn't ready for the bond hearing or whatnot, so he asked for more time. And of course, Judge Coffey is very fair, um, and he, he wants to be sure he doesn't violate anybody's rights. He's a very, very good judge, and he gave them more time. Um, also, Judge Coffee don't play, neither. Um, but, um, they gave him more time. Well, um, if you'll go back a month ago to the reading I did on Straight Drop and, uh, Cornelia Smith, uh, where I did the reading on them and their attorneys, if you notice, I talk about Shundell Barnett. And um, I talk about where I went and I checked the uh, warrant status out on him again. And uh, his picture was taken off. His mugshot was taken down, okay? And I was like, well, why did they take his mugshot down? And I got this gut feeling. And I was like, you know what? I did a reading about probably three months ago or so. And, um, I picked up that, uh, Sh Shondell was, uh, being protected. He was. He's being protected by, uh, Shelby County. So, let me explain to you. I was reading the article that the news station put out today on... Uh, Justin Johnson aka Straight Drop and Cornelia Smith and while I was reading it they mentioned Shondell Barnett and I was like oh interesting what is it? what did they got to say about him well the DA office informed them that Shondell Barnett is still in custody in Indiana and he is going to stay there for security purposes. They have no idea when they are going to bring him back to Shelby County to face charges. Um, he is being held there uh, for protection. So, um, I just want to uh, kind of go ahead and put my claim out there uh, on Shondell about what I picked up on him. Um, wow. So, uh, I, I was, uh, really, you know, I just had, when, when I had seen that they took his mug shot down off of that warrant, and you know, the at-large always bothered me anyway with his warrant. When they put, when they first put his warrant out there, his address is at-large. Um, they know his address. If it's in Dallas, if it's in Indiana, if it's in, uh, shit, mumfucked Egypt, they know that man's address, okay? I can get online and get his address where, where he last lived, okay? So you know they can. So that always bothered me the at large, you know, I was like, no, they're not wanting folks to actually really just, this, this is being put out there just for, you know, some kind of shady ass shit that they're doing. And, uh, you know, that first reading that I did on him, you know, I picked up that he was being protected, you know, Shelby County had him and, and that's where he was. He was being protected by him. And then, bam, that article came out today and said that he was still in the Indiana jail. He was going to stay in the Indiana jail. They had no idea when he would be brought back here for safety, security purposes. So, 
you can bet your sweet bottom that if this goes to trial, he is going to testify. Guaranteed. If them boys don't take a plea deal and they go to trial, You can see Barnett on that stand. He's going to testify. So, I just wanted to put that claim out there. Um, maybe pick a card for him and see what we get. Just a card. Cards keep coming out. There's too many of them. Shuffle the deck and then I'll just pull one out. Let's see. Just pull one out. No, you know, he got the trick-or-treat card. So. He's gonna trick to get the treat. So, Shondell Barnett is locked up in Indiana. He's not, um, out on the run. He's not out on the loose. Um, that's just some, uh, shady ass shit that Shelby County did with that warrant. And I, I had put that out there a couple months ago, whatnot. Then I came back and did that one reading with, uh, Justin Johnson and, um, Cornelia Smith on the, uh, on their attorneys and them. And that's where I mentioned, uh, Barnett, Shondell. And uh, his warrant and, uh, you know, the, the shady shit that was going on there. Either somebody in Shelby County was helping him or he was helping Shelby County. And we know he's helping Shelby County. Okay? So he will not be brought back here anytime soon. He is being kept for his own safekeeping. That right there should tell you everything you might need to know on this case. Peace, love, and light, guys.